A harsh roar brought the workers of a gold smelter in the Medellin district of Manila out of the monotony of noon. A security guard ran to the entrance and was frightened when he saw a dump truck full of people in hoods and with rifles, which had just knocked out a five meter metal door. Thus began one of the most spectacular attacks committed in recent years in the city as a result of which a severely wounded criminal, two wounded police officers, and 11 suspects have been arrested so far. Now based on the information from surveillance cameras, amateur videos, and eyewitness testimony, it was determined that the criminal operation began this Thursday at 11.45 a.m. So that's Thursday, November 4th on a busy Las Vegas Avenue. The target of the thieves was a company involved in the storage and smelting of precious metals. One of the criminals disguised as a traffic police officer diverted traffic from the south through 16th Street with a similar actor stopped them walking from the north on the 17th Street. Minutes later, about 30 friends raided, arriving scattered on a dump truck, a van, and a several motorcycles. They wore balaclavas, body armor, overalls, pistols, submachine guns, rifles. At 12, two police officers with the car were conducting a regular patrol in Las Vegas. The criminal made a mistake by stepping on the road in a hood and with a rifle in his hands, which alerted the policeman. At the same time, one of the smelter workers pressed the alarm button so the police sent reinforcements to Manila and began coordination with the cameras of the 123 system. The shooting lasted for an endless 30 seconds, which caused panic among, among passerbys and drivers who at rush hour crowded on a busy avenue. So this was a broad daylight once again. Now, among those arrested was a pirate guard who whom several pedestrians tried to lynch. Street justice, right? Now, the robbery was, it was a failed robbery and they only managed to take some supplies, he said. This is the General Martin, without specifying what type. Intelligence sources report unofficially that among the perpetrators of the robbery are members of several organized groups in Northwestern Medellin. Obviously, right? You're not gonna get a fly-by-night criminal. You have to get a hardened criminal or that knows organized crime to be able to pull it off. And they still didn't pull it off. An hour and a half after what happened, Mayor Daniel Quintero announced a reward of up to 10 million pesos for information that helps explain this type of theft, which is about $3,000 US. Authorities agreed that the robbery was organized crime and did not rule out the involvement of former employees of the company, of course, who provided information to the bandits as an attack of this type is not planned in one day. Woo! Crazy, right? So I just did a video about a broad daylight robbery inside a mall, and here we are, broad daylight shootout in Medellin, okay? So uh, wild, wild stuff, right? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this normal, or do you think this is actually crazy? Because you only see this in movies. Shootouts, robberies, yes, it happens, but broad daylight like this, rush hour, is pretty crazy, all right? Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Peace out.